And here we are, hopping off the freeway. Going to Stuttgart. 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 However you pronounce it. I apologize. We are on our way to discover the Majestic dealership here in Stuttgart. Yeah, but that'll work. That'll work. Stuttgart. Uh, we're going to pick up a new truck. Uh, remind us of back home, back home in Australia. Get an Australian truck. Show the Europeans how it's done. Um, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Because I want to get there. I want my new truck. I'm a bit excited. This is a truck I've loved for for years. The the not really the model, <clears throat> but the uh, the words have escaped me. The brand. Uh, I don't want to give it away yet. I'm sure you all know what it is. Um, truck for America and Australia. Oh, I don't know if this model here is sold in America, but it might just be an Australian. I'm not sure. You cannot quote me on that. Thanks for letting me in, buddy. So that's why I'm driving like an idiot. I'm going to be trading this truck in. To get the said one. Uh, it, is, it is a mod to get this, this truck. And we'll just duck in here. No, we won't. And, um, looks like it's up here on the right. No, I'm in the... I'll just push in here. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. And there's a recruiting ag recruitment agency up there, too, by the looks of it. And we'll punch in here. Is this it? Majestic. Beautiful. And let's pick up our truck. Oh, there it is. I can see it. I saw it in the corner. Okay. Let's get past all this stuff. Majestic, Majestic. Majestic, which is Mercedes-Benz. For uh, those who are wondering what the fuck Majestic is. Here we go. There she is. Kenworth. Built for Australian roads, this bad boy is. I don't know if they have the um, the flat nose Kenworths available in the states. I, th I think they're all the long nose ones. And it, the interior is basically spot on too. I don't know why there's a little Russian flag thing there, but hey, I I'll roll with it. Uh, not much accessories, but that's all right. I pretty much like it the way it is. Pretty much spot on. This, yeah, this is brilliant. This is, <clears throat> this is good. So we'll trade this in. There we go. Finally, ever since I started this game, I wanted a Kenworth. I was waiting for a mod. And I saw this mod on um, Squirrel Nuts. He, he did a video where he, he got this same truck. Kenworth. Look, even the logo is perfect. Good old KW. So I think we're going to have to pick up something. Oh, an oversized for sure because these, these trucks are I built. I built the pull heavy loads. So let's go see what jobs we have. Um, no, no. That could work. I haven't been there before. There's nothing else interesting around. I think we might do this. See, I don't know about that. Uh, oops, 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 oops. 
See, I don't know. <clears throat> we haven't been there, so that might be... Fuck, I did it again. Hell, let's do it. Oversize, you know, Kenworth. That's what they're built for. Now let's see what it sounds like. I don't know. That 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 doesn't sound like a Kenworth. The indicator does, but this sounds just like my Scania. Uh, hell, it could even sound like a be the majestic sounds for it, which is a bit disappointing, but. Know, what do you do? But this now I feel more at home, except for that little Russian, whatever the hell it is, dangling, dangling from my fan there. She's got some speed on her too, and this is just the the base, the base one, because I'm not my level isn't high enough to get to get the higher horsepower. But she is booting. Oh, I'm in love with this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, let's get in. Get our... Whoop, get our oversize. Where is she? Here she is. I just noticed the little uh, the Kenworth logo on the fan, which is... I like it. Very nice, very nice. Oh, there she is. Stalled it. It's okay. New truck. Give me a break. I don't know what my gearbox is. Don't know if it's a Road Ranger or. Didn't check. I'm sure we'll be upgrading it well, later on anyway. Alright, we'll get the hell out of Sturtgurt. With our, with our oversize. Like I said, this is what Kenworths are made for. So we're back onto this bad boy and... Get the hell out. That is brilliant. The amount of times on the Australian roads I've seen a Kenworth similar to this. Going down a freeway with a load. Very similar to that. The only thing that's missing is the pilot vehicles. And depending on the size of the the load we're pulling, um, police cars. So we'll get out of here. We'll, oh, fuck. And we've already damaged our truck. <laughs> the, yeah. I think they need to clean that those logs up from the yard. That's a, that's a health risk. Health and safety risk. I'm loving this indicator. This is really authentic. So we're leaving John Deere. This isn't any farming machinery, but, you know, what do you do? What do you do? So, we're leaving Sturtgurt. And this this will be a fun load, because uh, we're going to try and get used to the truck. And get caught in a traffic jam. Uh, try and get used to the truck while carrying a, an oversize. Like, fuck you, hell. So that might be an accident. We'll see how we go, but I love the look of this. This is beautiful. Can't even see the car in front of me. Let's see how close we can get to this guy. Can't get too close because um I know a few people actually that have 
Now you have your reversing camera at the back. They'll have one at the back and they'll have one at the front. So they could see how close they are to the car in front of them. Because you saw earlier when I was riding on his ass, I couldn't even see the car. I know a few people that put the, the two cameras there. Which is good, I guess, for, you know, safety and all that junk. Ooh, slow it down. Just letting you know I'm here. I'm going to get on his ass now. Gonna have to stop for a sleep by the looks of it. Which is I didn't really want to do. I should have looked at that, but I got too excited about buying my truck. Okay, first big turn. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Now these are the ones that are going to get me. Turning these ones with, with, well, with how big the load is anyway. The trailer. They usually have the, the guardrail on the right hand side. It's finished now, but they usually start it back up right near the top. Which doesn't help, so we'll try and hug the left hand side. There's the guardrail, so fuck it, we'll just boot out here. Sorry if any cars are coming. Yeah, we're good. That's where a pilot car and a, a policeman help a lot. Get out there and stop the traffic. And I've actually done... Um, I piloted one vehicle, uh, one truck, uh, through a town... And you think it's a, you, when you say it, you think it's an easy job. It's, it's not an easy job. I would tell you, you'll be driving single lane each way, around hills or over hills, around sharp bends. And the trucks, what was it? I think it was 4.2 meters wide. 4.2 or 3.9? I don't know, she was overhanging. And you're basically driving down the middle of the road, like in the other lane, half in the other lane, and cars don't slow down. Until they see this big truck come over the hill and then they they get on their anchors. Just, uh, going through little towns, wrong side of the road. It's just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's very stressful. Very, very stressful, because you know if something goes wrong, it can... it can result in... Um, yeah, well, yes, let's not think of that. But that was fun. That was fun. Especially the height of it with bridges. Making sure you got enough... Oh, speed camera, slow down here. <clears throat> Making sure you're not uh, you're not going to hit, hit the bridge. And get stuck and all that junk. But yes, we're out of here. Down the freeway. Still... Even with this big, oh, see, for, here's the thing, I, I shouldn't be in this lane carrying this, I shouldn't be going this fast, but I got no patience, no patience, pull over for a sleep and there should be a rest stop coming up hopefully, and all will be good in the world. Wee, back at wee, Jesus. No, in my luck, I just buy the thing. I probably will crash it and do 60% damage to it and have to pay 40000 to, to fix it. Just my luck. So, I'm going to have to rest soon. I think this is another bad thing with when you have the limiter off. You're gonna go fast. And here's our rest stop. Beautiful. And it will 
if it's at a service station. Can you let me in, buddy? Don't speed up. Let me in. Thank you. If it's at a service station, I might not be able to get in. I might have to drop my trailer and just take the truck in and sleep. We'll see how many trucks are parked there and we'll make our mind up. Once we get there. It's just over the hill anyway, so... Time will tell. Oi, you fucking van. Get out of the way. Right, here we go. Parking and petrol slash diesel, depending on what vehicle's going in. What have we got in here? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get in there for sh No way. Okay, we'll come this way. Can we cut through here? I think we can. Ooh, that was close. That'll do. So we'll sleep here. And, uh... Get up and start again in the afternoon. Okay. A couple more trucks are pulled up. Start her up. Just check her out. Make sure no damage is done to it. Now if we can get out of this and this. It doesn't. That looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Let's get back in and get out of here. We're all good here. Oh, this is going to be a bit... Getting out of here. Ah, plenty of room. What was I worried about? Whoa! Look, just looked in my side mirror there. And there's my old Nokia phone. Does it even have a. Oh, wow. Good times. Coming out. Can't stop me. Hey, so we're carrying, well, we're not carrying tractors, but yes, and we're going to win, 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 somewhere in, <laughs> somewhere in Europe. <laughs> so I still can't get over this truck. It is, even my keys have a little Kenworth keychain on it which is beautiful and I should keep my eyes on the road here what do we got time remaining 10 hours and 7 hours till we reach our destination 450 kilometers of no time at all to waste I have a bit of time but sooner we get there, the sooner we can start another job. More money coming in because it did cost us a fair bit to get this truck, but I will have this truck till the end. Um, I'll get a paint job on it after this job. Because although black does look very nice, it's... I, I need something else. And I'll just continuing up, continue upgrading it uh, every level. Every level we get. Um, just pan out for a minute. That's the angle I'm after. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is... Oop, it's on the road. That is gorgeous. Australian trucking brought to Europe. Just let me get over here. Oh, no. We don't need to get over. Like I said, I don't know if they have these, the flat-nosed ones in America. Or not. So... Yeah... 
still it's an Australian truck. I'm just going with it. Built for the tough Australian conditions, for the outback. Built to carry B doubles, road trains uh, across the outback, across most of Australia. Uh, what have we got here? Speed camera. Yes, I don't know what the speed limit is. Back it down, back it down, back it down. There we go. And we're taking this exit by the looks of it. Now, I hope there's no tight corners or toll roads or any of that junk we have to we have to contend with. Because we don't have um, we don't have TMC to ring up and and let them know we're coming. And for those who don't know what TMC is, it's uh, in in New South Wales with the RTA or the now now known RMS. Uh, you got TMC Transport Management Centre, Transit Management Centre, one of those ones. Oh Jesus! Holy crap! And um. If you if like, if you're doing roadworks on a on a on a RTA road like a state government road, you've got to ring them up and you know let them know. Same as if you're gonna take an oversize, you'll ring them up and say you know we've got an oversize, hundred ton, two hundred ton, whatever that needs to go down such and such road. You ring TMC, let them know, just in case anything happens. You know it's all good, it's all kosher. And well, we can't do that at the moment, can we? Turn my lights on. Oh wow! Look at how the dash lights up. Oh, that's a. I don't know what I did then. I've done something. What I do? I press something. Okay, I'm just going to turn the engine off and start again. Because I press something and it just. I don't know what that key did. I don't want to know. So yes, we don't have um, we can't we don't have the luxury of ringing up TMC right now and saying, listen, we have a. Oh, I don't know how long this is. It's a fucking long, long trailer that needs to go down such and such road. We don't have TMC telling us, well, you know, the there's a bend in this road that you're not going to make. Well, there's a bridge that's too low, or... So we're just on our own here. I'm curious, what are the wipers? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, yeah, old school. Very nice. The only thing weird about this truck is this little Russian thing here. I think it's Russian anyway, but... You know, maybe there's a Russian out there who, who designed this mod. Here's a thing for Kenworths. And I've pushed this button again. It's just slowing me down. So I'm going to have to turn my truck off and start again. I'm sorry, but... Retarder activated. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. So... I'm just going to keep driving and admire my truck all lit up. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Now we're going to have to get over because we're going slow as hell here. Now I've just pressed that button again and it's... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to... Use the following key to deactivate. Okay. See how we go. With new truck comes new problems. Let's just face it. 
try and get on a straightaway to see if we can... Pick up a bit of speed. I'm going really, really slow. It's just... What have I done? I'm not sure what's happening here. I'm just just bear with me for a minute. Options. Do, 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 do. Keyboard. What button did I press? That one. So. Kind of increase. Kind of decrease. So what's the decrease one? Let's increase. Let's decrease. Okay. So we do it on. Now we take it off. That sounds a bit better. Yeah, we also are on a on a hill, and we are going to go slow carrying something like this. Oh, look at this poor bastard behind me. Sorry, Raven. Oh, we should have our beacons on. Oh, I don't know what my beacons are either because I'm not. Again, sorry, bear with me. Oh. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Got a bit of a traffic jam behind us. We've got to be off this hill, surely. Oh, there we go. At the at the belt down the fucking button to turn it off. Instead of just pressing it, I had to, had to bash it a couple of times. Well, I just look like an idiot. All these truckies are going, look at this fucking Australian truck on our fucking roads. Look how stupid you look. Yeah, well... That might be so, but I'm just going to see you in my revision, in my side mirrors, as I say goodbye, as the power kicks in and gets us out of here. Very nice. Just want to. That's beautiful. Bloody beautiful. Now, where are we going? We're going straight? Yes, to Wien, Vien, Vien, Win, Win, Vien, Win. To this place on the A1. Uh, we don't want to go to Salzburg. Sol Sol Salzburg? No, none of that. And da -da 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 Oh you motherfucker. It's alright, I'll take it. I'll speeding. Now that I can actually go fast. I've got a little bit of time to make up for after we got the uh got confused with all that junk. Get over here. Okay, we've got three hours to go. With a deadline of basically seven hours. Two hundred and thirty kilometers. What's the horn? Meh. St the dash is still 
wonderfully amazing. Here's the thing uh, a lot of truckies that well in Australia will say. The American trucks, so like the Kenworths, you know, all that shit, are the best to drive, mechanically. The European trucks, however, so your Volvos, your Scania's, your Mans, all them, have the comfort. And I have driven a Scania before, and compared to the, ooh, compared to the Kenworth, they, they are amazing. Amazing, comfortable. Oh, it's. Oi, oi, oh, Jesus! But mechanically, well, I don't know, because I'm not a, I'm not a diesel mechanic, am I? So I don't know how it is compared to, but, you know. Yeah. And just on that note, I don't drive trucks. Um, I've driven a few. Oh, holy hell! But I don't do it professionally, so um, yeah, I might I might have no idea what I'm talking about. I just like trucks. Simple as that. So we're almost there. Vian, 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 one. Oh shit, wrong button. Oh shit, wrong button. There's my high beams. I don't really feel... No, I'm alright. I don't need them on. Oh, I could have stayed in that lane. By far, the, the interior dash lights are, are way better than any of the European ones in this game. I've, well, I've only been in Scania, haven't I? But... This is just gorgeous. Bloody gorgeous. Especially over here. Very nice indeed. What's this? What's that green stuff? It's not a toll road, is it? Oi! Wrong side. Apologies. Apologies. So we've still got a while to go. There's Linz, 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 Linz. So I apologise my pronunciation. Probably get none of these. Then none of these names right. But you know, I don't live in Europe, so yeah, that's my excuse. So we're looking at a 3.30 a.m. delivery. See if we can... I'd like to do it faster, but... You know, it's only, what, two hours, hour 50 to go. No point complaining, we've come this far. We're testing this truck out. And it's impressing. Boy, is it impressive. Oh, what the hell is this over here? I'd like to I'd like to have a look at it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna crash if I do. So I won't. I would love love to have radio playing on this, but with YouTube and it's copyrighted everything. Unfortunately I can't. Back it down a bit. Handling there was, wasn't bad for... Well, I took that at 110, I think, the last time I looked at my speed. Which isn't bad at all. Get over here. Middle lane, I have more uh, <coughs> more room to play with on either side, just in case I need it. And just in case I can just you know, jump across like this. There's the sunflowers. Don't need petrol, don't need to rest. We are good to go. 
60 kilometers to go an hour oh shit an hour remaining ETA was 3.30, it's now... It's gonna be under 3. By the time we get there. Ooh. Are we taking any of these? No, that's a bad road. That might come and expand... Actually, where would that lead to? Down here into this country. What is this country? Would this be Ukraine? Yes, Ukraine. We've got Poland here, isn't it? Russia, maybe? Ukraine? I don't know. I'm going to say Ukraine. I'm not gonna put my money on it, but but Ukraine, maybe in an expansion DLC, which hopefully does come soon. Now we'll get up this hill, see how we go. We're losing a bit of speed, but this is the base model for for the engine. We're still kicking it now. Look, now we're picking up speed. That's beautiful. That's crash-worthy. I'll be having crashes, no doubt. Get around here. Oi. What are these idiots doing? See, now we're getting... Now we're getting clogged up, and with this... The size of the trailer... I don't want... There's a guy beside me. What did he turn off? Oh, there he is. And Vivian, when you... Vivian, when discovered. I have a couple of things to discover here. Which is good, always good, good, good. Oh, up the gutter, up the guardrail. <sighs> that was unfortunate. Looking all right. We're not going to DHL. Going straight through. I think we'll go straight through. Deliver, and we'll go to that rest stop. And then discover. Or I might go discover those two things, then hit the rest stop where the mechanic is, and get a spray. Ooh, get a new paint job while I'm there. That could be the. I, I might do that actually. It's just we have a roundabout here. So we'll try and try and take this as best as we can. Perfect. And we're turning into here. Oh fuck, where's it? Fuck, I don't think I I don't know about this. <coughs> See how we go. This is 
This is gonna bother me. I'll give it a go, but... I'm gonna have to reverse it from... From outside. You bastard, you had to get right up in there, didn't you? Easy out of here, that's alright. Alright. Fuck, I don't even think that's not even gonna make it. That I can admit. Try this. This is better. Oh, oh shit! I come right up against that. No, nah, can't do it. <clears throat> all right, that's all right. I'll just go plan B. I want to reverse it in. Like you don't get much extra points, but. Like 36 experience points or something, but... Stupid. Let's try this. Oh, wrong way. What did I crash into? I'm nowhere near where I need to. <laughs> oh, fuck, now I'm on the wrong side of the road. Well, one more try, I guess. Um, How close am I? Holy shit! That was pretty amazing. Okay. Fucked it up. Well, we got there eventually. <clears throat> Took us longer than I wanted to. And I came about it all, all 
ways I could, but left the uh, the right way to last. Done. Good work. I don't know if I can... Good work, my ass. <coughs> oh, damage. Okay. Hey, I leveled. Awesome. So I think we're going to have to put one into... What's this? Four and five. What's four and five? Oh, six. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Beautiful. We got there, eventually. <clears throat> so let's go discover a recruitment agency, and I'm going to take a guess and say, I'm going to go with a man dealership. I think it might be a man. <coughs> Hurry up. And turn in here. Beautiful. All right. What do we got first? That moon looks pretty behind that building. Why are you giving me lights for, you bastard? <coughs> Go orange. Oh, oh. Orange. Orange. There we go. Or oh, is that down there? That's uh, my recruitment agency. Beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> And this is a this is a Iveco. Hey Iveco. So was that how I got in to do my car? Truck it was shit. Coming through. <coughs> don't, don't mind me. Well, luckily it's uh what three fourteen in the morning on a Friday, so everyone's too drunk to drive. Oh. And as I say that, the cars come. <laughs> All right. Um, go in here. We'll get our We're going to have to repair it, aren't we? Services. 2000 repaired. <coughs> Back. What about upgrades? Do we have any upgrades now that we leveled? Level 16, of course. Paint shop, okay. <clears throat> we have none of these design things. Ugh. That's, that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I'm gonna go with that. That just came out of nowhere, just a random color. A dollar, if I read right. 
A little bit that there's no uh, design things where I can have half one color, half the other. I don't know what's up with that, but. Hmm. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, new truck. Nice little paint job to it. I'm quite happy with it. And that would be it until the uh, the next video. So take it easy.